Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bone Device Repentance. Today we're going to play as the Keeper. See if we can get a little bit more things done. We do start with the wooden nickel, is it called? So we can use this once per room um, for a chance for a penny to drop. Which is really good because it, it just means a chance of taking an extra hit in a room. So I'm not going to pick any up until we've finished a lot of things or we have a few lying around. Just so I can go. I will take this one just because I don't want to come back to it. So this room we didn't get any money, which is why I like to keep some just lying around a little bit. Uh, we got bombs, may as well get a chance for a small rock. But we got a key. So we'll take that. So far, we're actually having really good luck with money drops. Just need to remember to keep using it as often as possible. Do I fight the boss now? Sure. Don't think the item room would give too much of a difference. Thank you for just destroying yourself. Uh, sure, we'll take Crackjacks. So Crackjacks is a health up and a random trinket. Uh, slight tears up, but the Tears rolling around everywhere is not really something I want. But we got health up, so now we can take three hits as a keeper, which is a huge difference. It really is so good to have that extra chance of completing a room. Whoops, didn't mean to take that. We got some on around now, so we'll be fine. Headless baby, familiar that falls around and drops creep on the floor. PJs, it would be four soul hearts, I think. So just a lot of flies to protect us uh, for the next couple of rooms. Not bad first four. Where do we actually want to go? I guess we'll try getting to um, the dark room, you jerk. Sure, I'll take that. Okay, I need to... Um, nope, I did it again. Razor blade. No, that doesn't seem like a good option. These? No. Empress is better. Why did I take that? <laughs> I'm forgetting my system already. Oh, 
I'll take one of them. If we pick up enough of the money to go to the shop, we'll go there on the way after collecting the money. Which we should end up with enough. Headless Baby will really help with this fight. The creep on the floor will do a lot of the work for us. Mom's heel, range up. I mean, it's fine. Would like some. We'll take that. But we would like some tears and damage. Even a bit of speed, really. The room's still open, but we haven't got the money for it. And of course, I was about to say what the map does, but. Um, we have Curse of the Lost, so we can't see the map, but it would normally, I'm just going to tell you this, it would normally show you all the rooms of uh, a map, so it would show you the whole layout, but it won't show you what the end rooms are, or exactly where item rooms and boss rooms are, but it's still very useful. Especially if you're trying to get somewhere in a rush, which we do actually have to get to a boss rush. So maybe that is something we should think about. I am completely lost now, by the way. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to where I've been going. That sucked. That that was unfortunate. This is a lot of spiders. Linger bean. Linger bean. I don't know what that does. Close. We're going to keep the wooden nickel. I don't want to come back for this. Does Linger Bean do something when I take damage? I'm going to try not to find out. secret room. No, 
are interested. Well, we use it. No, not that. Use this here, and we'll get crawl space. Okay. Some good money as well. So if you do use anything that gives a um, trapdoor on something like here, I think would work. If there's like a rock or any kind of aesthetic on the floor, if you use something that will give a trapdoor, it will make a crawl space for you. This would work as well. I'm going to get hit here. I just know it. I'm just terrible at dodging this guy for some reason. Matchbook, evil up, so it would normally give me a black heart. Um, let's see, game applies. Three random bomb drops. Can be troll bombs as well. And the matchstick trinket, which I never take. Small rock. Never a small rock. Eden's Blessing. So that's Tears Up and on the next run that I do I will start with a random passive item. So maybe my next run will be The Lost. Just to give that a little bit of a boost. I mean it could be something that isn't helpful at all. It could be something really good. Think about what character I want to play as next. Oh, that's what um, the Linger Bean does. It drops the uh, Bark Cloud thing. Which does damage to enemies if it walks into them. Help up, we'll take that. So we're not having as much luck with the wooden nickel this run as we were last time. That was all blue, and that's a tears up. So, if I see more of those, I definitely will take it. Wasn't quite ready to say that, but 
enough money for the shop. And sure, we'll take those options. So those options gives you an option of two items in a boss room. I'm going to say boss room. I'm pretty confident that it is. Um, and you can take either one. Whichever one you don't take disappears. But one of them is usually good. Plus if it makes one of them a health up, I'll have the option to go for the other one. Uh, don't trap myself. That would be foolish. I miss Headless Baby. <laughs> Just that little bit of extra damage. I do need something to give me a bit more um, protection. I'm being the lack of things right now. Ball of tar. So ball of tar turns you into a tar creature where you drop tar on the floor which slows down enemies and you have a chance to shoot tears which also do the same. Oh, why did you go so fast? I'm dead. That just seemed worth it. Um, I'm going to have to use you now. Tears or damage? That's a tough choice. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a think about this. Tears would be really good. But damage in the long run. And that's also speed up as well, which I do need speed. So I think I'm going to go with growth hormones so speed and damage I think that was better than the tears and shot speed up What would be really cool is with these characters, because these are like tar looking things as well. It would be cool if because I had Ball of Tar, if it didn't affect, they didn't attack me. Whoops. Like they thought I was one of them. I just find that, I find that pretty cool. There we go, small rock. So, tears up. Damage up, speed down, but it kind of balances itself out for me having the uh, growth hormone speed. So I definitely made the good choice there. And we are actually already shooting pretty quick. So I saw more tears, so we just have a chance to shoot more tears. We can shoot anywhere, which isn't a bad thing. If something's surrounding us, we can kind of dodge it a little more. 
having more tears up would be better for this. I don't know if it's affected by luck either. So, if it is, we may shoot some more. to find a shop before I find a boss. Well, there's the shop. That's fine. Blue candle's good, but I'm not giving up the wooden nickel. Membership card could also be good, but I don't think I'm getting enough money for it to be worth it. The battery item could be good. But I don't think we're getting enough money for it. This guy's too good. And I don't have any health. I'm taking the pentagram for the damage up. Health would have given me, um, or the health up item would have given me more health. I do want to fight the angel as well, but with one heart. That's that's dumb. So that's not going to work. Uh, if we can get some money, we'll definitely come back. If that's still open. So we're going to try that. Be good if we could get Mega Saturn done. Okay, I doubt it will still be open, but we'll check. And we also got the Circle of Light, I think it's called. So this light that is around us. If enemies are in it, I think it can do damage over time. Angel Room is still open, okay. Um, but it does, if there are enemy tiers, it has a chance to knock them back to the enemy that shot them as a homing shot. Should do a little bit of protection for me. So it's not bad. Leave some money on the floor because I haven't got any at the minute. Sure, Camel Wendy's. When we enter a room, we become invisible with a higher range and speed. And when we first shoot anything, we become uninvisible and have a pretty good uh, tears up for a certain amount of time and damage up. So we have a short burst of pretty good damage for us.
It doesn't last very long, but it should help us out quite significantly, especially with how many tiers we are shooting. And we'll see what it does with this boss. Oh, I, I activated it before because I used the wooden nickel. That, that's unfortunate. Don't do it. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, because we had Eden's blessing, we're gonna do a loss run. Quick see how we get on with this. And what do we get? Lucky foot. Okay, not really the best thing. But now pills will be either good or neutral. So we can't get bad pills. And it's a look up. Money equals power in an item room. That's pretty good. So money equals power. For every bit of money we get, we get a damage increase. It's only like 0.04. 0 0.05 every single one but oh wait it's more do we have a higher damage it was 0 0.08 does it change the more you get I think the more you get it decreases but either way this will this will help out quite a lot for us so I'm probably not going to spend a lot of money. I'm probably going to save as much money as I can to get as much damage as possible. Who do I want to... Where do I want to go? So I'm going to the... Um, chest. Okay, that was that was taking way too long. Speed ball, speed, and shot speed up. I've got the Eternal D6. So, probably need to remember that. Um, Even at 1.3 speed, this seems very fast. Sure, we'll gamble. Finger bean. Wish I took a chance. Pills can only be good or neutral, so we'll try those. I haven't got enough money for the shop and I'm probably not going to check any shops anyway. Again, I'm just going to try and get the damage. Are you insane? <laughs> I died by a poop. 
Okay, well, that's what not to do in Isaac. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Anyway, I think we're going to leave the episode here. Um, yeah, nothing can top that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.